So over the last 30 days, Sierra's done a little bit over $20,000 on OnlyFans. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the pricing strategy that we've used to hit those results. Let's take a look. What's going on, this is Scotty, and if you don't know who I am, I've been working in social media since 2015. And in this series, we're talking about how I helped my girlfriend reach the top 1% on OnlyFans, starting with zero followers. And don't forget, if you wanna see the number one secret along with a step-by-step -step guide showing the exact process we use to get these results, just click the link in the description to join me on Telegram. All right, so let's get right into this video. We are talking about pricing in this video. And so really when it comes to pricing, one of the main things that you first have to sort of think about and decide is of course, which business model when it comes to OnlyFans, which type of business model you're actually going to use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring uh, Sierra's OnlyFans account on the screen right here. And I just wanna kind of show you this because this is really what it should sort of look like right here, okay? so. Over the last 30 days, she's done a little over $20,000. Um, but what I wanna show you is right here, right? So with the subscription, she's done about 9,800. And then between tips and messages, she's done you know roughly 11,000. So when you're doing your pay-per-view, when you're offering your content, it should be at least equal or greater to the amount of money that you're making on subscriptions. And so that's just sort of a metric that you can pay attention to. So in other words, if you're making say $2,000 a month, um, you know, from your subscription, then you should also be making at least $2,000 a month with your pay-per-view. And if it's anything less than that, then you may need to adjust your strategy, uh, you know, or things like that. Okay, so let's first talk about the different types of business models. So the first kind of business model is of course, you know, a free page where there's essentially no subscription price and you're basically charging um, for the pay-per-view content on your feed and in the DMs. And those pay-per-view unlocks are typically gonna be anywhere from about five to $50, okay? And then there are creators that basically choose to do a premium subscription. So that's basically when they're doing a, you know, premium uh, account and they're doing no pay-per-view at all. And that's basically gonna be anywhere from about 20 to $50 per month for the subscription. And in that case, there's basically going to be no pay-per-view whatsoever. And then finally, where most creators fall is sort of the normal, which is a combination of subscription and pay-per-view. So in this case, there's gonna be a subscription anywhere from about six to $12, and you're also gonna have you know various pay-per-view unlocks that's in the range of five to $100. And so the first question that I get asked is, out of these business models, which one is actually the best? So I'm gonna cover that real quick because I think it's pretty important to choose the right business model uh, for what you are actually doing. So for the most part, I typically always recommend against a free page. Um, this has been true with my own experience and many other top creators that a free page, for the most part, is going to attract nothing but you know tire kickers, time wasters, people are th that are just trying to squeeze as much as they possibly can out of you for free and you know very few people spend money however a free page can make sense for creators that you know they already have millions of followers they already have a huge fan base and they're not really doing only fans as a primary business they just want to kind of you know set up a page not really put much effort into it and just let people go there and kind of browse through the content buy stuff whatever if that's not you, then it's probably best not to use a free page. Okay, the next thing here is obviously premium subscription. So this page is typically best for creators who again, they already have a huge following. Maybe they're, you know, longtime YouTubers or whatever the case, and they have an extremely loyal fan base already, and they intend to put an extremely high amount of quality and effort into their content on OnlyFans. And so in this case, if you have an extremely loyal fan base, they've been following you for years on YouTube or whatever the case may be, then they're not gonna have a problem, you know, being with you forever and paying $20 or $30 or $50 per month because they have such a deep connection to you. However, if you're a creator where you're basically just promoting on Reddit, promoting on TikTok, whatever, getting people in the door, but they haven't had a very long time relationship with you, then this is not a good option for you. Okay, so finally, this is where most creators fall down here. And this 
is the type of page that you want to have if you're just, you know, promoting on TikTok, Reels, you know, Reddit, Twitter, you know, getting people into the door, but they really haven't heard of you before then, or they haven't really known you for a very, very long time. This is the type of page that most creators will want to have. Okay, so for the remainder of this video, we're going to assume that this is the business model that you're using, because again, depending on the business model depends on, you know, the pricing structures and the strategy and, and so forth. So this is what we're going to assume that uh, we are talking about for this video. Okay, so this is also one of the other most important points I've covered in some of my previous videos, but this is basically a huge problem, you know, with creators that are dealing with burnout and, you know, things like that. So basically you do not want to spend all your time and effort and mental energy on customer retention. Okay, so basically you don't want to spend all your time and energy trying to keep people around because you will still lose a significant portion of your fans after the first month, no matter how much effort that you put in. So you kind of want to switch the way that you think about it, switch your sort of psychology and the way that you look at your OnlyFans. Um, you want to treat your page like a physical store. Okay. The goal is to bring people into the store so they can purchase your products. Obviously in the case of OnlyFans, that is your pay-per-view. So your goal is to not spend all your time and effort trying to keep people from leaving. In other words, you want to get people in the store, give, it, give them an opportunity to buy your products, and then they can leave. You don't want to spend all your time and energy trying to keep people to stay because it doesn't matter how much you chat to them. It doesn't matter how much effort you, you spend with that person. They're going to leave anyway. They only came and subscribed to your page because they were curious, buy a few things, and then they want to leave. They don't want to stick around. And that's just the nature of how OnlyFans works. People are going to jump from creator to creator because they're curious they satisfy their curiosity and then they leave so don't get your feelings hurt when people subscribe to you and they leave after the first month that's just the way it works okay so again really the only thing that you have to focus on is getting people in the door initiate chat and earn via pay-per-view that's the only things that you need to focus on and worry about if you're worrying about anything else aside from those things, then it's just a waste of mental energy. You're going to exhaust yourself and burn yourself out. Okay, so let's talk about the pricing here. So I typically recommend six to twelve dollars. If you have a different price that's working for you, great. Keep doing whatever you're doing. Um, but if what you're doing is not working or you're brand new, just price your page around six to twelve dollars. And I typically like to lean on the smaller end of that scale because the goal of having a smaller subscription price, it will basically weed out the tire kickers while still allowing uh, people to satisfy their curiosity without breaking the bank. So you want to get people in the door, but obviously you don't want to let them in for free because it's kind of the same if, you know, you think about a strip club, for example, imagine what would happen if everybody could just go in there for free. The whole entire place would fill up with freeloaders and they would be wasting all the girls time and nobody would actually make money. So you want to treat your OnlyFans page very similar and charge a small entry fee to weed out, you know, the time wasters, but you know that the people People that are coming into your page um, are at least willing to spend some amount of money on you. Okay, now when it comes to how to offer your pay-per-view, there's basically two primary methods. So number one, you have templates, and if you're unfamiliar with templates, um, templates are basically pre-designed conversations that bring the customer through an actual experience. So in this situation, you're basically going to have a sequence of pre-made pay-per-view unlocks that go along with the conversation. For example, there are a lot of people that like to do these sort of, you know, storytelling back and forth uh, type of role play stuff uh, in the DMs. So if you already have that entire story pre-made and written out, then all you're essentially doing is copying and pasting as you go through that conversation. And as you go through that conversation, you're going to have a sequence of, you know, video clips or pictures or whatever that go along with that story or that, you know, pre-made conversation. So basically, as customers go through this conversation, they're going to become more and more invested into the conversation. So you might go through a little bit of the conversation. You send your your first uh, unlock, maybe it's twelve dollars. You get you know halfway through, it's thirty five, fifty, and another fifty. So you can you know make anywhere from a hundred to two hundred, two hundred fifty, or three hundred dollars per conversation as you're bringing people through these sort of pre-made um, you know storytelling experiences. 
Okay, so this is a very powerful way to offer your pay-per-view, and then you sort of have the kind of standard thing that every creator does, which is, you know, basic unlocks, right? Where you're basically just sending out a mass DM with a random piece of content, and um, in my opinion, you don't really want to overdo this. You don't want to spam your audience so much that they just start ignoring your DMs. Again, if you were using a different business model, you know, a free page or something like that, then all these things change. But for the normal creator, the average type of account, you're going to want to use the templates as sort of your primary way to monetize your DMs. And then you can kind of, you know, do a little bit of this style of pay-per-view on the side. So that's it for this one. Again, Again, if you want to see the number one secret along with a step-by-step -step guide showing the exact process we use to get these results, just click the link in the description to join me on Telegram. And if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.